this week's predictions from Ospex. Hello and welcome to Rowney TV again. Jed, how's the viewing figures going? They've gone through the roof for uh, Ori. Oh, that's um, brilliant. We've had over 6,000 views in two weeks. Yeah. And it's great, it just reflects the sportsmanship and the light-hearted atmosphere of the league. It's not some cheap opportunity to um, advertise or, you know, perhaps put the uh, company logo, you know, up front and in the eyes of all those people. And, and what I do like, it's not something like a platform that's really an excuse to make a cheap jive at a certain player, you know? No, no, I quite agree there. Mind you, I, I was glad to see this week that uh, people are coming now with team shirts. The champions turned up with uh, Haven Holmes on. Was meant to have uh, League Champions 2018, but they were too tight to pay for that. But then again, this week they might pay for it because Trev won the two sweep. Who'd have thought Big Trev and miserable Jordy Paul have gone corporate? Exactly. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Anyway, let's have a look at last week's games. First off, we start with, well, the beers to be feared, Tom and Ted. Five and four, easy win, Telly Tubbies. What more can I say? It was called. Easy call, really, easy call. There was no way that the, uh, the uh, Timmy and Dave, Dave yeah, yeah. Uh, pairing would really yeah. survive that onslaught. And it doesn't look good. It doesn't it, look good for well, them, so. I think they might become the whipping boys. But in game two there, we've got um, Brendan, who wasn't here, so we played with young Ted Charmer and Kevin Roberts, playing against Tom's old man and uh, Rob, uh, Tom o. Well, unfortunately, the two needs got on the right, wrong side of the 3-2 thrashing. Um, and I think with the wind and the rain, they struggled. And I think it could be a long, long season for them boys. It could be a slog, but good to see them uh, taking part. Yes, it's brilliant. Yeah, yeah. Unfortunately, uh, hopefully, Brendan will be back this week. Then we come to the next game. And what can you say? You called the shot last week. The slags against the OJs. You said a win for them. I didn't. They came up trumps. Three and one. There's no question. Because um, he's got the strength and the force of the poor Aaron Binwagon. Well, that's it. You know, yes. Almost uh, like yeah. an industrial way to approach golf. It must have been carnage out there for the for what you know the uh, the softy softy office boys from Douglas. Yes, well, they're, they're, a new, they're a new pairing now, and uh, as I say, I didn't see any passion there at all, but hopefully we can get back on the love train next week to the OJ, so there we go. There again, then we've got Stacey, Kevin Stacey, as we call him. Yeah, be careful, it's not Kevin Spacey, he's not popular anymore. No, no, it's Kevin Stacey, and they took on the organisers, mm. and, well, would you believe it, they won. They're flying high, they've never been that high up the table. Mid table, I know it's only one game, but they're very excited and they think they can go forward from here. I wouldn't write them off. I wouldn't write them off because uh, Kevin there, he's been practicing, I think his practicing regime is up to what, 80 hours a week now. So yes, it must have been good sometimes. Yes, then we come to the people's champs against uh, Pipe and Slippers. Well, you had it down as a board draw, but to me, this was game of the day. Now, I don't know if you but it was a very tight game, and then what got us going was a fist pump by a 75 year old on the 60. A fist pump? A fist pump. Would yeah. you believe it? Alan Tasker, bang bang, fist pumping. That was it for us. We sent them home in front of the fire with their coat. Is, is he playing with uh, a left handed chipper? No. Has that been disguised? Well, I didn't see it. He disguised it well if he did. Anyway, he didn't get that, that close to the green. Was, anyway, it, him? Was it him? Oh, is there a player who's got a, a left handed chipper in the league? Yes, yes, that's him. He's, well, no, he's got a left hand right. Oh, right, okay. It's, it's, okay, uh, we'll, 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 we'll get on to the uh, RNA anyway. Yeah. So. Okay, we'll try that one. And then the last game. And there it was. You weren't here. No. What went wrong? Uh, well, Bolton were just, um, you know, weak up front, um, couldn't even, uh, you know, put it in the onion bag or get, get Well, I was actually it. talking about Finlow coming in as a reserve. Oh, uh, I don't know, I've not had the uh, the full report. I did hear, well, it's cited in a text, something like jammy bast or something like that, yeah. I don't know. Well, I did hear that uh, the rain washed off the magic dust from the irons, so there you go. And uh, even though Addy and uh, Wilf won four and three, had he still managed to win? But there you go. Well, that's part of his uh, routine, isn't it? So that, that's the end of the, the first game. Unfortunately, there's no league tables available, but what I can tell you is Norwich are top of the championship. That's a coincidence, isn't it? Yeah. 